thanks to God for letting us fellowship with you. Everyone, our long-awaited Lord Jesus has already returned to us. He's returned as the incarnate Almighty God. And the arrival of Almighty God means the age of grace is done. The age of kingdom has begun. Almighty God has expressed all the truth that purifies, saves, and perfects mankind. He began the work of judgment with God's house. By the end, he'll have some overcomers. What God will perfect are those who are of one mind with him. He'll then bring them into his kingdom to receive his eternal promise and blessing. That is, the overcomers will be made through God's work of judgment in the last days. So then, whether we're able to accept God's judgment in the last days will determine whether we'll be raptured before his throne and granted entrance to his kingdom. What? The Lord's return to make a group of overcomers? Impossible. Brother Lin was our leader. He taught the local church how to be overcomers. If we stick to the path he showed us, we'll surely be overcomers. Amen. Amen. Overcomers come from the local church. Amen. And the rapture? We're going first. We can enter the kingdom of heaven when the Lord's back. Amen. You said Almighty God will do the work of judgment to make overcomers. Impossible. Amen. As long as we pursue according to the path Brother Lin led, we'll surely become overcomers and be taken into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. I couldn't agree more. It's undeniable. This is the truth. It's the truth. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen! Brothers and sisters, let's not argue with one another. Right. Yeah. Arguing's a sign of arrogance and conceitedness. When we search for God's appearance and His work, we should treat it with reverence and seek the truth in all things. Amen. Amen. As you know, the local church has been desolate without the work of the Holy Spirit. You've heard the testimony of the Lord's return. And as the church workers and leaders, you haven't sought it further, but have been rude and arrogant. You're the ones who revere God? This is how you seek knowledge of the Lord's return? The Lord Jesus said, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. Amen. Amen. We long for the kingdom of heaven. We await the Lord's return. Yes. Only one church in the world, the Church of Almighty God, says the Lord has returned and has begun the judgment at the house of God. Ah, yes. Right. We should try to be clever virgins with a reverence for the Lord. We should investigate the work of Almighty God, which is after the Lord's heart. Yes, that's right. Ask anything you like, and then we can discuss and fellowship. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. All right, allow me to start. You testified that God incarnate has come to do the work of judgment, that is, the work to make overcomers. We believe the Lord Jesus will come to take his believers. So how could he do the work of judgment and make overcomers? Amen. Amen. Brother Lin was raised up and used by God. He led us to be regenerated, transformed, conformed, and glorified to be overcomers. Amen. Amen. We believe that we'll be raptured first. Amen. You testified that only God can make overcomers. We believe following Brother Lin and walking the path he led will make us overcomers. Amen. And we will be raptured. Amen. Am I right or not? Why don't you fellowship about that? If Lord's words are constituted into us by praying, studying, and preaching, and through regeneration and transformation, We'll be overcomers. Amen. When the Lord comes, we'll be taken into the kingdom of heaven. As for God incarnate, we don't need him to perfect us into overcomers. 
If the Lord comes and doesn't rapture us into the kingdom of heaven, then it's not his return. We won't accept! Brother Wong, we need to know what the Lord's return really means, as well as what it means to be raptured, and that what work the Lord will do. We can't fathom it all. So how then can we define it? What if it happens, Almighty God is the returned Jesus, and he starts the very work of judgment at the house of God? If we resist, condemn, won't we become sinners just like the Pharisees who resisted Lord Jesus? Even now, I'm not aware of any church or any sect who says the Lord's returned to do the work of judgment in the last days. The Church of Almighty God is the only one who says so. So then, shouldn't we investigate it? It's so sure, important. We really that. should discuss it. We can't judge blindly. We have to be careful. All right. Brother Mung, Brother Young, we'd all love to hear. So would you fellowship? Brother Sun would love an answer to his question. <laughs> I can't wait for your profound insights. I've never I'd like to hear them too. Hmm. Hmm. You said that the path Brother Lin led is to make overcomers. And if we follow the path Brother Lin led, we could be overcomers. The Lord Jesus comes again to rapture the believers. So he couldn't do the work of judgment to make overcomers. Could you tell us what your biblical support is? Where is the prophecy of the Lord Jesus testifying that? Those who understand the Bible all know that God makes overcomers before the disaster. God incarnate descends in the last days and he expresses the truth necessary for the judgment so he can make a group of overcomers. The prophecy in Revelation says, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things said, Because you have kept the word of my patience, I also will keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall come on all the world, to try them that dwell on the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which you have, that no man take your crown. Him that overcomes will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write on him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and I will write on him my new name. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said to the churches. Amen. And 1 Peter 4.17 says, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. The Bible prophesied what the Spirit said to the churches, the Philadelphia church's rapture, and the judgment that begins at the house of God. All this is what the Lord Jesus does when he comes again. God incarnate descends secretly in the last days, just to do the work of judgment beginning at God's house and make us overcomers. Almighty God's utterance, the word appears in the flesh, is what the Spirit says to the churches and is the hidden manna. The name of Almighty God is God's new name. The Philadelphia Church accepts the new name of God, which means they are raptured. All those who call on the name of Almighty God and read His words throughout their daily lives are raptured before God's throne. Receive the judgment and purification of His words. They will obtain the truth and overcome Satan to be gained and perfected by God. The people are truly the overcomers. It's obvious that God's own work in the last days is to make us overcomers. It must be done by Him. No one else can. Yes, amen. I always thought that we were the Philadelphia Church and that we'd be raptured first. Now it seems that we don't know God's voice nor do we accept what the Spirit says to the churches. How can we hope to receive God's new name? How can we be the Philadelphia church, be raptured before him? Brother Lin said, overcomers come from the local church. How is it possible? Hmm. Great question. How is it possible? Brothers and sisters, overcomers are made by God incarnate as he does the work of judgment beginning at God's house in the last days. 
It's not only in the Bible, but spelled out clearly by Almighty God. Maybe we should look at the words of Almighty God. I'll read it. Great. Almighty God says, God brings all who have entered his kingdom, that is, all those who have been loyal to him to the end, into the age of God himself. However, before the coming of the age of God himself, the work that God desires to do is not to observe the deeds of man or to inquire about the lives of man, but to judge his rebellion. For God shall purify all those who come before his throne. All those who have followed the footsteps of God to this day are those who have come before the throne of God. Hence, all who accept the last of God's work are those to be purified by God. In other words, all those who accept the last of God's work are those who will be judged by God. I have previously said that a group of overcomers are gained from the East. Overcomers who come from amid the Great Tribulation. What is the meaning of such words? They mean that these people who have been gained only truly obeyed after undergoing judgment and chastisement and dealing and pruning and all kinds of refinement. The belief of such people is not vague and abstract, but real. They have not seen any signs and wonders or any miracles. They do not speak of abstruse letters and doctrines or profound insights. Instead, they have reality and the words of God and a true knowledge of the reality of God. Is such a group not more capable of making plain the power of God? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Yes. Brothers and sisters, hmm. the true overcomers will only be made through experiencing God's work of judgment. In the last days, the incarnate Almighty God descends into China secretly and does the work of judgment starting at God's house. Almighty God has expressed all the truth that purifies and saves us to judge and reveal man's satanic nature that resists God and their true self. He has revealed to man God's righteous and holy disposition and his almightiness and wisdom. After experiencing the judgment, pruning, and trials of God's word, Man has surely witnessed the truth of his ugliness and corruption from Satan, man's true self. Arrogant and self-conceited, full of ambition, judgmental, selfish and base, crooked and crafty, shirking the truth, full of false ideas about God, and prone to resisting and betraying him at any time. They are definitely Satan's descendants who rebel against God. They're simply unworthy of living before him or being saved by him, but they've also felt God's word is truth, falling down in conviction. They appreciate God's holiness and disposition, which is not to be defiled or offended. They've learned this through experience. These people have a real reverence for God. They're able to obey him and live by his words. In the midst of God's chastisement and judgment, they bear various testimonies of overcoming Satan and the dark influence of the great red dragon especially some who overcome the cruel persecution of the Great Red Dragon. All these blessed overcomers are the fruits of Almighty God's judgment in the last days. On mainland China, there's a group of God's overcomers. This is the ironclad proof. Amen. Just now, you said that the path of Brother Lin would make overcomers of you. Brother Lin led for many years. Tell me, are there any overcomers among you? Can Brother Lin do the work of judgment starting at the house of God? Is his expression the same as what the Spirit says to the churches? Is it the word of judging man and purifying man? Hmm. Actually, Brother Lin was like us, just a corrupt man. He's not God incarnate, and he has no divine substance. 
and so he can't express God's word or do the work of judging and purifying. So tell me how this man can lead you to be overcomers. He preached to be regenerated, transformed, conformed, and glorified. Now, after so many years, what results have you seen? No matter how closely his preachings conform to man's imagination, they're still the knowledge of man and nothing else, which have nothing to do with Almighty God or with his truth. Also, Brother Lin didn't experience God's end-time judgment. He wasn't an overcomer, so how could he lead others on the path to becoming overcomers? So Brother Lin's path couldn't help you be an overcomer, regardless of what you told me. That is against the fact of God's work, with no proof in God's words. It's purely meant to deceive man, and it's meant to resist God as well. Everyone, are you still with me? Yes, absolutely. I think it makes sense. You seriously believe this guy? Brother Lin was... We spent years following Brother Lin's path. Where did it get us? No one's an overcomer, and that's a fact. Right. Whether one can lead the path to become overcomers should be judged by results. You're right. Could you tell us what the overcomer is? Yes. Please explain it. Mm. Right. Yes, please. Brothers and sisters, what does it mean to be an overcomer? Which aspects of truth should an overcomer have? Can we see that clearly? Mm. The way mankind sees it. If he can labor and work for the Lord and keep his name, he'll be an overcomer in the end. But that's not right at all. Let's see what God has to say. He has standards on being an overcomer. As chapter 14 in Revelation says, These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits to God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Now let's see what Almighty God tells us. Mm. The overcomers that God speaks of are those who, under the siege and the influence of Satan, that is, under the forces of darkness, still stand witness and maintain their original faith and their loyalty to God. Regardless of anything else, your chaste heart remains steadfast before God, and your true love of God stays unchanging. This means that you stand witness before God, and you are the overcomer of which God speaks. Yes. 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 That sounds about People right. made complete before the disaster are obedient to God. They are those who live by Christ, testify to Christ, and exalt Christ. They are the victorious male child and the good soldiers of Christ. From the words of God, we can see that overcomers are those who follow the Lamb's footsteps, who experience God's judgment and refinement in the last days grasp the truth and obtain knowledge of God, mm. who revere God and shun evil. Amen. No matter how Christ works and speaks, they will obey and be faithful to him, no matter what. Under the great red dragon's ruthless arrest and persecution, they still eat and drink God's word, performing their duty as a creature. Even when they are suffering, they won't complain and they are faithful till death, bearing God a beautiful and true testimony. These are the people made overcomers by God's work in the last days. These are just the victorious male children prophesied in the Bible. I've never thought about it. Yes, they are. Hmm. You said that we can seek to become overcomers by following Brother Lin. Then let me say, you followed him for many years, listening to his biblical knowledge and theologies every day. What do you know of God's work and disposition? Did he teach you? Do you know the ways Satan attempts to corrupt mankind? Have you seen through its evil nature and substance? Do you hate the great red dragon? 
Do you have a firm grasp on how it resists and condemns God whenever it can? Do you have a true knowledge of your own satanic substance and nature? Have you overcome the flesh and Satan's influence upon it? Do you honestly revere and obey God while shunning the temptation of evil? What do you know of God's disposition, of his inherent disposition? If God incarnate expresses the truth, can you commit to obeying him simply because you heard his voice? If you don't have these realities of truth, how can you be overcomers? Does that make any sense to anyone? Yes. yes. God incarnate has revealed all of those who don't know God. The entire truth that God expresses reveals all of those who don't love the truth. Those who don't accept God's work of the last days are the ones who don't know God. And the arrogant and self-conceited children of Satan, how can those people be overcomers? It's impossible. Wouldn't you say so? I think I would, yes. Oh Lord, what they say is reasonable and fully convinces me. The overcomers are indeed made by God's work of judgment in the last days. I've spent so many years pursuing the truth. According to the path led by Brother Lin, so many years. In doing so, I was certain that in the end, I would become an overcomer. It never occurred to me that it could all be untrue. People lacking a firm knowledge of the truth are easily deceived. How dangerous this is. That's it. We've tried to be overcomers, but now we know we've made no progress at all, according to the path shown us, shown us by Brother Lin. Instead of having true knowledge of God or experiencing the truth of his words, we're becoming more arrogant, believing that we're superior in spiritual doctrine, condescending to those of other beliefs. In reality, we're merely talking about the doctrines of Brother Lin rather than obeying the Lord Jesus' word. This is where we're wrong. We're worshiping man, obeying the word of man all the time. We've revered man without any reverence for God. And we're ambitious in that we want to be God, be Christ. Isn't that like the archangel? Yes. Yes. Aren't we just a bunch of antichrists? We're not overcomers. The path led by Brother Lin doesn't make us become overcomers but rather deviates from the Lord's way. In the end, overcomers are made by God's work of judgment and not at all made by man. Yes, that's right. Yes. It makes so much if sense. If the path Brother Lin led was really to make overcomers, we should have seen some result after so many years. At least he should have been one. That would have been a start. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. But as we know, even Brother Lin himself wasn't raptured alive, so the path he led must have been the wrong one. That's obvious. It's so obvious. In the local church, we live a church life, regeneration, transformation, confirmation, and glorification. These words we shout loud every day. But so far, we've seen no evidence of this. Surely, we don't have the Lord's words or his place in our heart. We've been neglectful in caring for him. We have no patience for brothers and sisters. Instead, we envy them. We scheme against them, create conflict. All we ever wanted is to be enthroned and to rule and become God and Christ. So what do we expect? How could we be overcomers? Yes. Obviously, man's work can't replace the work of God. Man thinks they know the Bible, spiritual knowledge, and doctrine, but they still can't do God's work. Amen. If we follow man to the end, we'll be hypocritical and end up just like the Pharisees, all arrogant and self-conceited, overbearing antichrists. Even then, we think we'll be raptured into the kingdom of heaven. Don't you think we're all dreaming? God is the creator. 
and man is his creation. Man and God are totally different in substance. Right. Yes. Words of God's words filled my heart with strength. God, please give me courage and faith and keep my heart. Even if I die today, I'll never tell anything about the church.